Welcome back to Coding Commanders. I'm Commander Candy, and today we're going to learn all about GDScript arrays. An array is a data type that holds a set of values. A key points to a particular value in an array. We use it to access the value it points to. An index array is a specific type of array, okay? If you do not specify the names of your keys, they will automatically be indexed using numbers. The first value in the set will have an index of zero. Okay, do you guys remember when you were in kindergarten? When I was in kindergarten, we had like cubby holes. There was a thing, cubbies, where we would come in and put all our stuff in our cubby, right? Now imagine there's a kindergarten class and the cubby holes each of them are assigned a number. And when the students come to class, the teacher tells them on the first day what number their cubby is. The number starts at zero. The first one's numbered zero, and then one, two, three, and so on. Little Jilly gets Ugh. sick. And little Jilly goes to the nurse's office. She calls her mom to pick her up. Then she calls Jilly's teacher and says, I need you to send Jilly's belongings to the front office she jilly's cubby number is three then the teacher knows she doesn't have to identify she doesn't have to remember what kind of backpack jilly has all she needs to know is that her cubby number is three grabs jilly's stuff sends a student or whatever with a hall pass to the office to bring jilly her stuff and everything's done with that's what an array is. They're like virtual cubbies that are indexed by numbers starting with zero. Say we have an array that stores types of caffeinated beverages. Out of that set, we want to access Red Bull. To access Red Bull, we can reference its key. So we have an array called drinks holding caffeinated beverage names. Indexed at zero is going to be Red Bull. Indexed at one is going to be tea. And indexed at two is going to be coffee. We can print out Red Bull by referencing it by key. Drinks, zero. And we want to print this out. So we're going to print Red Bull drinks zero. Let's run this code and it will print Red Bull. These are skill arrays. In the battle card game that I'm making, each character class has its own skill array. A skill array is defined by indexed at zero is intelligence, indexed at one is strength, indexed at two is dexterity, and indexed at three is spirituality, indexed at four is brutality, and index step five is diplomacy. These are the skills that make up a character class. And the definition is at codingcommanders.com slash battle cards. Problem. Fructus Hun challenged Ellie the Elf to a push-up competition. The number of push-ups a roleplay character can do is equal to five times their strength plus two times their dexterity. Who will win? Um, Ellie the Elf is a druid. Fructus Hun is a mage. In order to connect your scene with the script to run the code, you're going to click over here on the name of our scene, Node 2D. And then on this side where it says script, down here you'll select which script you want. I have mine selected as Node 2. As you can see on this page, codingcommanders.com slash battle cards, we're going to take the mage skills and put that into an array bar mage skills is going to equal an array 18 for intelligence 5 for strength 20 for dexterity 15 10 and 5. then we're going to do the exact same thing for the druid bar druid skills is going to equal an array 15 10 10 20 1 and 15. The number of push ups is equal to 5 times strength plus 2 times dexterity. So the number of push ups that a mage is going to do is going to equal 
mage skills one times five and let's go ahead and make this a quantity then we are going to add mage skills two times two and that's going to give us the number of push-ups a mage will do now i'm going to go ahead and just copy this and paste it and then change mage here to druid druid push-ups is going to equal druid skills one times five and druid skills two times two now we're ready to print right under the print ready ahead and do the same thing for the druid print druid comma druid and there we can see that the druid is going to do 70 push-ups now we want to find out who did more push-ups and then output our answer. In order to do this, we can use if statements. I'll link my full lesson on if statements in the video description. If mage push-ups is greater than druid push-ups, we're going to print the mage one. And if you remember, the name of our mage is Veructus. Fun. Elif druid push-ups is greater than mage push-ups. We are going to print the druid one. And if you remember, the name of our druid is Ellie. Oops, I indented that a little bit too much. Else if druid push-ups is equal to mage push-ups, we are going to print it was a tie else we are going to print error either mage push-ups should be greater druid push-ups is greater or both druid push-ups and mage push-ups are equal if it's none of them something clearly went wrong now let's go ahead let's run our code and as you can see Ellie did indeed win. Thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to see more super awesome GD script and computer programming tutorials. Thank you again for watching and until next time, happy coding!